Well, good day, tubes. How is she hanging? Pretty good here. So, gonna work on the 800 a little bit today. Um, hopefully, I want to drain a bit of fluid out of the uh, radiator because um, I want to change the uh, rad hose. Hopefully, that's the same size. It should be pretty close. Should be. Should be is a big should be. But uh, that and uh, put that new uh, temp gauge in. I want to pop the old one out, of course, too, and give it a test and make sure it's really dead. Uh, we got our new bracket painted up, ready to rock. I just went with red. <laughs> I looked at my colors. I'm like, no, it's got to be red. So we're going to mount that guy too and get him finished up. And uh, I'm going to boil some water here just to uh, test the uh, temp gauge out. I want to maybe test the new one too. Might as well. So uh, where did I put my my kettle, Dewey? Oh, there it is. Found it. So I've got to go get a bit of water and uh, get that going and we'll test her out. Okay, she's plugged in. We'll juice her. Ooh, hope that doesn't blow the circuit. <laughs> it might. I don't know. And while we're waiting for that, I'll go and uh, mount this guy on. Tighten her up and uh, she should be good for that. Alright, I know there were some comments a bit concerned about how close that belt is to uh, the pipe here. Uh, you got to remember there's going to be a pile of air getting blown here too. So uh, I don't, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, and then when it shuts off, this stuff's so bloody thin, it's not going to stay too hot very long. <laughs> There'd be more residual heat coming from the engine and the radiator probably than, than this thing here. So I'm not uh, a whole bunch concerned about that part. Um, okay, so let's get this started here first. Maybe. I can see what I'm doing. Huh. Can't work backwards, I guess. That uh, bolt's a little bit longer maybe than it needs to be, but it uh, should be alright. Once it gets through there, she'll have lots of rooting anyways. Okay, now I'm going to get this through here. And then I'm putting on two, two of these nuts. And there was another comment too, good comment about using a little piece of pipe. Well, I'm like, yeah. But it looks cool with the, with the, the nuts here, but uh, it's a little bit of a conversation piece. Okay, now, we need a 916 for this one. Should be able to tighten this one, I think, down now. Oh, well, better line up my nuts so. That may not let me know. Not a big deal. My nuts can be on a line. I just want to make sure that I can still get that. Oh, yeah, we're good. There was another comment I noticed too about changing where the exhaust pipe goes and you can't really do it on this one because of the style of the manifold. If it went down, yeah you could but uh, I won't probably be changing that. Alright, so we'll get that snugger. And, ooh, lots tight. Ah, that'll stretch, I'm sure. <laughs> I am sure. Okay, so, we probably could hook up the charge to this as well. So we'll come around the other side here. All right. Ah. Well, that can get hooked on there. I don't know why, but I have a weird, funny feeling 
that the axle pivot pin in this one is not in good shape either. I won't really know that until I get it jacked up a little bit. This seems to me like the front axle is kind of leaned forward a bit. I don't know if I really like that, but... Okay, that should be good. We've got a little bit extra left over for that adjustment if we ever have to. Feels like it's fairly tight now, so it should be good. All right, oh boy, I'm going to have to maybe get this uh, mower out of here today to uh, be able to uh, work on this front end. Oh, fun stuff. I don't know if I can get that door open, though. That might be the killer. Well, I got the door open. That sucked, but anyways, let's see if this thing will start here. And uh, I think I've learned not to start it on full throttle because it gets too much wind blowing on the vane, which shuts the choke off. So we'll just try it there. Come on, you dink. <laughs> ah, I don't like that auto choke. I can't say I like the sound of those drives too much to start off with there. That was really working hard. Mm. I don't know what's up with that. I didn't really like that too much, but maybe they're just cold. Maybe there's some ice in there. I don't know what happened there, but uh, hopefully she's not damaged it. All right, I got a drain bucket. There's a valve on this radiator here, and uh, I think this hose is fine. I just, I just want to do that one because this one's a lot easier to get with the hood on. Now, hmm. Hmm. chances are I'll probably get this opened, but chances are there's be nothing to come out. <laughs> it's chances are there's crud in the bottom. <clears throat> oh, she turned. She turned. Oh, it's dripping. Dribbling. Actually, not too bad. So I'm gonna let that dribble out. It looks awful thick. Uh, while that's dribbling, well, that shouldn't take too long there. Uh, I need to get her down at least to about here, so I can get that hose changed there. You know, I think that hose is probably fine. But while I'm in here, I might as well do that. That's. Uh, I did a bucket this color so I could see uh, what uh, comes out of here. Hopefully it's all right of stuff. And uh, what else do we gotta do here? Um, well, I guess while we're waiting for that, we'll go and uh, give this new uh, thing here a test. Hopefully that'll drain her down enough too that it should that I can get this uh, other one out of here without uh, anything really peeing out. But let's go uh, get this into the hot water there and we'll see uh, what she comes up to. So this is just a universal uh, gauge here, and it's like super long. It's way longer than I'm going to need it. So that uh, kind of sucks, but uh, I can wrap her up, I guess. Hopefully that's the right thread there, because it does come with other ones. But I have no clue how to get them on. <laughs> I don't know if this screws out or something, but anyways. Well, we got the hot water here. She's... Uh, not super hotly boiled, but we'll see uh, 
what we get on here. We should get her up to around the 200 area there. I would sort of think it would be going by now. There she goes. Just took a minute to get through the, the cable, I guess. She's on her way. Interesting. I thought it might have been a little bit hotter than that. I think it's still going up. Should be, uh, well, this should be around 100 Celsius. That's boiling. So it should be up over that 200. Uh, that's interesting. Let's uh, warm it up here again. Maybe it's cooled off that much already out here. I don't know if it would or not, but I'll just leave it in there, I guess. Should get hotter than that. It's sort of climbed a bit, 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 more, bit more there. I don't know if I like this type of gauge or the other one that's just you know got the the green and then nothing and then the red like the old style one. I'm just wondering kind of what happened to the old one. Like why did it screw up? So we'll just let that boil again there. I guess it might have actually cooled off that much already. We're about 175 there, maybe-ish. About 78 Celsius kind of thing. I'd like to see her finish off just about that 200, roughly. Because it's 100 for, uh, well, past the 200, actually. It's 100 for, uh, it's 100 for boiling water, so we shall see. It's got a not boiling yet. You'll hear roar rolling in a minute there, I'm sure. I don't think we're too far off there though. That's that's definitely coming up now. It's just not fast, I guess. Yeah, they give you a long cable on this. I wish it was shortenable somehow, but I don't think you can. So I mean this I don't think that comes out of there. No, I wouldn't even bother. I'll just roll it up and then zip tie it up to somewhere, I guess. Well, we're got some bubbles happening in there now, but it's not a roll and boil yet, so I like to see her boiling it. Well, it helps with the things in the water too. <laughs> I like to see her boiling it, uh, you know, the right temperature here. Well, it's not too far off. We're just about boiling now. See the coils are starting to bubble, funny looking. It's not a keeping loading boil yet but uh, we're 93 yeah that's probably pretty close she's just starting to boil you'll hear it change all of a sudden here water's so cool I'd say that's pretty close there not gonna get much warmer than that she's starting to really leap bubbles now so here it comes It'll be up here now. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty good there. That's perfect. Perfecto. Let's see here. Bubble in there. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. I'll shut her off here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, we better go back and check our mess over here. Well, she's filling. I'll uh, check in here. I doubt I'll be able to see the level now. It'll be down below the core, yeah. Down below the core. Ooh, that's kind of kind of scrimy in there. Might be worth getting uh, getting some of that descaling stuff in there. Maybe get her flushed out in the summertime here. Um, there's no real way to see what level we're sitting at here until we kind of take a hose off. So that uh, that's the crappy part of that. But uh, we'll grab a screwdriver here. Oh no, I got one here. Start loosening off these uh, clamps. Clamps. All right. Probably should throw a new set of clamps in here while I'm in here too. I've got one, two of them, I guess. I don't know what I've got in stock for clamps. Clamps. 
hard to tell where we're at. <laughs> pretty much have to uh, pretty well drain out the whole system. I guess while we're uh, waiting for that to go too, we'll, uh, well, we should be able to get this top one off of here now anyways. Should be way lower than that. That one's loose. And I wouldn't say, why well, it'd be nice if there was a, a thingy. It'd be nice to see where we're sitting. Now this thing, I don't know, it's almost probably worth putting a new radiator on this. We did that on the 2N and uh, they're not uh, they're not cheap, but you know, while we're in here, I mean, radiator is a pretty important part of it. Something messes up in there, it gets blocked up, and we're in uh, trouble. Holy dump! There we go. Yeah, that's kind of grimy. So that's still draining. Uh, we'll have a look here at uh, see if this uh, thing's going to come out of the block here. So that's it there. We're still draining there a bit. I'm going to see if I can get this to come loose. Got a line wrench on there. Oh, look at that. Either a strip her or she come loose. No, nope, came loose. Now let's just see if we've got any leakage here. Uh, I didn't bring a towel with me. Maybe I better grab a towel. Alright, just in case. There's a little bit of leakage. Now this is either screwed up here, this thing, or I thought it might have had a bunch of mung on it, but it doesn't look terribly too bad. But for some reason it's not reading temperature. And it goes in there lots, that's good. Well. I guess we'll get her out of the dash here now and uh, pull her out. All right, way up under the dash. This is kind of nice having the hood off too because this whole thing's covered in. You'd have to go from way underneath the battery to get this out. So if I can get under here, turn off these little nuts here. I believe believe the new one came with all this stuff so shouldn't need these little nut things but if we do I'll keep them and the other one buried over here You know what? It's not a whole lot of work to get this whole console off of here. I wouldn't. Well, other than the steering wheel too, I don't have a puller really for that. But I don't really want to start heating things up. To uh, I was thinking it'd be nice to get this console painted, cleaned up and painted nice, but I don't know. Oh, something just fell off there. A little washer maybe. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so now this should just yank right out of the hole here. And out we go. Let's go give this a test. All right, I'm even going to give this a nice cleaning because you know what? I don't know if it does anything to it or for it, but we'll see. Let's crank up the hot water again here. This temp gauge is about the same length, I guess. A little bit of crud on the end here. I don't know if that's a problem or this crap on the end here. There's a bit of junk there, right? So, uh, what have I got to crunch at that? Let's see. No, I think that's actually part of the part that's leaded in there. So we'll just give her a cleaning. I don't know if it's the very end where the sensor is on these or it's contributed to the whole thing or something, but if this moves, I'm gonna be like, oh sweet, still works. And we'll 
if I can get her a whole lot cleaner than that, but let's uh, dunk her in here and uh, see if we get any temperature coming out of her. Nothing. I'll leave her in there for the benefit of the doubt kind of thing, but uh, that's too bad. Kind of like these old style ones. You can get these still, but they're so expensive. Yeah, it's boiling now. That should be uh, showing a temp. I'll leave her in here while we're putting the other one in, I guess. So yeah, this came with a bunch of adapter bits. So I gotta get that bracket out of those nuts, but I guess for a bigger tractor, you could thread this in and then thread that thing into that. So that makes sense. But we should be good uh, for just the regular there. I should probably look inside of this thing here and just make sure everything's good. Um, let's see here. I should probably put some thread locker on it, or a thread sealer on it too. Well, it's definitely empty in there. I do see a little bit of... Maybe it's just the block. Cruddy stuff there, but... She's empty, that's for sure. I can see right in there. <laughs> and actually, uh, that looks like it has an adapter on it already. Interesting. Or uh, an extender, maybe. We're down to drips down there now, though, so should be all right to go now. Well, I guess we'll get this one installed. Uh, lots of cable. <laughs> lots of cable, lots of cable. Probably could go around twice. <laughs> I'm thinking, anyway. Holy jumping, that's lots of cable. Alright, hopefully it fits in there, and it does. I just gotta get her in there and lined up right. Well, it mostly fits in there. Got a little problem there with... Uh, one of the cables from the light switch. I think it'll be all right. Um, okay. And uh, boy, boy, we got lots of extra cable here. Holy jumping, all I have to do is get down to there and I got uh, probably about three feet longer than I need. All right, the gauge is all installed in there. That was kind of a nuisance, actually. I got it open anyways. So we're not going to wrap it up yet until we get this sort of in here. And I uh, got her towel in there just to dry her out a little more. And I got some good old uh, pipe dope here just to put on the threads a little bit. A little bit will do ya. This stuff comes out in usually one big glob. It's good stuff, but it's uh, messy stuff. Woo. Probably don't want to get that on the uh, the gate or the temperature sensor too much. I wouldn't think. Should be lots, and we'll get that feller started in there. Thread her in. And what size is that? Mm. It's probably something weird. <laughs> Hmm. Well, now I don't know. Does neither one of them fit? Uh, let's try a metric. Oh, that doesn't fit either. Wow. Fifteen's too small. Uh, well, that's uh. Five eighths will do it. It's kind of tight in here, though. Ooh, I don't know if I like that too much. 
What on earth happened there? I don't exactly know if that was supposed to come out. Oh well, let's pop her out here again. Something's not right. Uh oh. <laughs> well. I'm not too sure if that was supposed to go like that. That thing kind of seemed to bottom out there a bit. That's interesting. I guess that just sort of pinches on there. The little crimp thing didn't kind of hold it. That's supposed to push on that, I guess, and then... It doesn't seem to tighten up, though, in there. It just seems to kind of, well... I don't know. Maybe that's it. Doesn't feel right, but that's all I'm gonna get. Well, that's strange. Well, I guess that's all we can do. So now I gotta keep this clear of the battery so we'll come up there. And I brought a bunch of zip ties, they're up here. Zippy, zipper, zip ties. Better close that up. Wait, I thought that might have kind of bottomed out a little more there, but it didn't seem to, so that's uh, interesting. It's probably good there. Now maybe give that another one there. To tie and tie things up a little bit. Uh, that's for our lights. So I'll put that in there too. That's good. I don't really like these ones they got on here, so I'm gonna bust them off. These are uh, the white ones are usually not UV friendly. They'll break off pretty quick and easy, so I'll put some of these black ones on there, UV safe ones. I don't exactly know if that's where those are supposed to route, I doubt it, but they probably should go through here, I would think. But I had to unhook everything now to do that, so they seem to have been happy here, so I'll leave them here, I guess. Oh, that one broke off too. Look at that. Wow. Just not having any luck today. I'm gonna, well, that's probably good, but I'll uh, try another one here. Man. I'm just not having no luck today. Had trouble getting that gauge to sit in there properly. Had uh, problems with that cable end thing. That one's all right. Oh, I chopped that one off too. Holy jumping. Samurai master. <laughs> all right, so that could probably follow along with the rest of this wiring. I just got, I uh, Got her on the wrong side of that, and that's our uh, proof meter cable. Shouldn't make a big difference though. Just kind of tie everything up here. Maybe my zip ties are no good here, I don't know. So we got an oil pressure, oil pressure there as well.
I better not crank that down too hard. And up in here, we've got, do these again. This keeps everything kind of neater-ish. It's not too bad. And then we got all this we got to find room for here. Probably just wind her up like this. Tire up to everything else here. And that doesn't have to be wicked tight. That should be all right there. Kind of up out of the way. That's the throttle there. That should be all right there though. And uh, boy, this knife is so sharp. I don't want to cut things in tight quarters like that, so I'll use the little cutters here. Maybe. Good. That's good. That's good. And that has to go to uh, the lights when the hood gets back on. All right, and that's our negative. Doesn't look good, but I think it's going to be all right. Probably should be cleaning up where it mounts here. I think. Yeah, look at the. Look at the goop down in here. Holy <laughs> jumping in. I'd like to actually uh, give this thing a good pressure washer before I put the hood back on, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's lots of crap up in here. Holy jumping, just loaded. That's where you get grease, I guess, in there. So lots of goop. Lots of goopies. All right, that's cleaned up that. That looks good. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and start working on the rat hose now. Let's get that off.